everyone, it is Nona Grace, and today I'm going to talk about the gala and my eye appointment. So let's talk about what I did first. I did the eye appointment. Well, actually, I should have said it in the reverse. I'm going to talk about the eye appointment and the gala. <laughs> I guess I said it backwards. But anyways, um, I went to my eye appointment, and they do this test where you look into the into the machine and it's got like a little circle there and there's a circle in the middle and the light would blink and then it was you were supposed to stare at that little spot in the middle and then there'd be a blink over here blink down here blink over there blink 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 and you had a clicker in your hand I felt like I was on jeopardy and you had to click every time you saw that light the light could be bright or the light could be dim and it could be who knows where and I guess then it prints out a thing that shows what dots you saw and what dots you missed and maybe if you overclicked you could be an overclicker and there was really nothing there but I'm pretty sure I clicked only when it was there. There was one time that I says oops I missed that one and I just kind of left it because um, if I would have clicked when I thought about it it would have showed that I was clicking where there was nothing flashing so I just kind of let it but then I came back in that spot again so I clicked that time. So that's what I did, and I should get the results. The doctor wasn't there, so the technician did the test, and he said the doctor would review my my dot the dots that or the paper that printed out, and when he comes in, and I, and then he will call me if there's a problem or call me. I hope they call me just to say, well maybe they'll tell me when I go to pick up my lenses, and have them put into my glasses. They'll tell me the results of that test too. Now about the gala. That was a different experience. I had never been to one of these, but it was more a lot. There was a big auction that they had a lot of a lot of tables set up with auction supplies, auction things, things to be auctioned off. And the whole idea of this auction was to bid, not try to get the lowest price that you could get, but try to bid so that they made a lot on the non for profit organization would make a lot of money on these things. So people were bidding 1000, 2000. It was big bidding on a couple. They had some that was a live auction. Some was a silent auction. And the silent auctions were where you'd buy the tickets and then you'd put them into this little into the bag and if your number was drawn then you would get that item. And um then there was a $50 ticket, a golden ticket they called it. And you paid $50 for that, and apparently that ticket was supposed to be at least $50 or more. So you would get your money back on, on whatever you were going to maybe possibly win. But you never know if you're going to win because it's, it's a gamble. So that's, and then at the dinner table, when we were eating our dinner, they had served, it was a sit down dinner, and they brought out on the plate, it had um, a piece of beef, a filet mignon, I believe it was, and um, chicken. It was supposed to be um, uh, quail, but there was not quail. It was a half of a chicken, and it wasn't even cooked. The chicken was really bad. The people at my table, there was a, approximately eight people, I guess, at the table, and not a single one of us could eat the chicken because the chicken was not cooked. The meat was medium rare, more on the rare side, the beef, but you know that we ate and then it had it had a twice baked potato. I ate it. I like potato. I will not pass a potato. Then it had something that was in the I think it was a mushroom dress mushroom stuffing thing, but it was more stuffing than mushrooms in a tomato. I tasted it. It was okay. Um, and then it had green beans, and they're really almost raw. The way the restaurant cooks them, they're almost raw. I like my beans where they're soft. I don't want to feel like I'm crunching on a raw bean. And then there was a dessert. The dessert was an apple, supposed to be an apple pie, and a chocolate flourless cake. Well, the flourless cake tasted like you were eating fudge, and the apple pie wasn't worth eating. It was horrible. 
So all those people that had to pay for those really expensive tickets, there was very few of the employees there. The rest, most of the people were from, I guess, the outside communities and sponsors, people, different companies that sponsored our, our school. They were there and their, their tickets, our ticket for the employees was $100 per person, but the ticket for the other people was almost two hundred dollars per person. One seventy five, my husband tells me. So it was pretty expensive per person. So to get raw chicken and your and I didn't feel the the food was anything spectacular. There was um hors d'oeuvres when we first got there. There was a big table set up with cheeses and meats and and some olives on it and some peppers on it and some mushrooms on it um, it was a big it was huge it was a big thing and then they had an open bar I believe I don't drink so I didn't have any of that um, there were some games that you could play if you wanted to play like connect four there was a big huge it was like um, people stand you'd stand up and pick up these great big huge checkers to drop into the connect four and then you could pay, play um, corn toss where you have the board where you toss the bean bag into the whole corn hole I guess it's called um, they had that and there was um, arcade games if you wanted to play in the arcade games those you'd have to put coins in it's like the pinball machines type I think that's what they would be but they're they're the newer model of a pinball machine and um, I'm going to try to insert some pictures of my dress so you'll get to see that. And um, there might be another picture there. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in, but I will insert it. And I hope you enjoy the little bit of a slideshow that it's going to be with the pictures. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.